For over 150 years, we've been taught that nature is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. It's the survival of the fittest that drives progress and makes everything better. We've applied this thinking to how we manage our organisations and our economy too. If everyone is selfish, then that's the most efficient way to make sure the economy produces everything everyone needs. In economics, being selfish is called being self-interested. And self-interest is not just acceptable, we've turned it into a responsibility. To make sure that all organisations manage themselves with enough self-interest at all times, we invented a simple but powerful decision-making tool. The business case. For every decision, the business case lays out how much money the organisation will make, how much it will cost, the risks involved and how long it will take. In this way, the business case maximises competition and drives innovation and growth in our economy. But this kind of decision-making is also destroying our planet. And it's not even providing for everyone's needs. Something about the approach we've been taking is profoundly broken. Happily, though, our more modern understanding of nature is shedding light on where we've been going wrong. We know now that, far from being locked in a battle for survival, plants and animals collaborate with each other and exchange information, energy and materials. And ecosystems flourish because the species that inhabit them play their part in keeping the system healthy. We need to manage our organisations according to modern scientific understanding as well. And that means changing how we make decisions. The business case is no longer fit for purpose. Instead, we need to make the systems case, to widen our horizons and make us accountable to the people, animals, plants, communities and ecosystems we've ignored in our thinking so far. Using a systems case triggers connections, exchanges and collaboration, and makes others into allies for the common good. It makes organisations understand and play their part in creating a healthy economy. Organisations can behave like this if we change the tool they use to make decisions.